Well, in the French-speaking Canadian province of Quebec, the newly elected Separatist Party Quebecois is about to reinforce a controversial language law. Bill 101 was originally passed in 1977 to protect the French language in the province. It banned the use of English on public signs and posters. It also prevented immigrants from sending their children to English-speaking schools. The new proposed version of the law will require all businesses with more than 11 employees to use French in their communications. It will also close down all English-speaking private at bridging schools. The law will also give more power to the so-called language police to fine and bring to justice those who defy it. The new separatist party led by Pauline Marois is fighting against what it calls the Anglicization of Quebec. Well, to discuss that story a bit further, we're now joined by Joshua Blakeney, Press TV correspondent, who is joining us now via Skype from Calgary. Now, Joshua, give us an idea about how this law will go towards further separating, in a sense, Quebec from the rest of Canada. Yes, uh, this is the Charter on the French Language, which has been around now for several decades. Um, of course, Pauline Marois uh, won a minority government in the September 4th election just passed. And she has, if she wants to get a majority, she has to, on the one hand, appeal to those who reject Quebec separatism, of which there's a significant portion of the populace in Quebec who reject Quebec separatism, while also not being seen to uh, sell out or to uh, deviate from her Quebec separatist credentials. And so obviously this um, attempt to enforce this law that's been on the books for several decades is an appeal to her um, home base, an appeal to her main support to our, of course, uh, Quebec sovereignty. Um, obviously, uh, many businessmen will feel that, you know, uh, disgruntled if they have to spend money on uh, translating their signs from English into French. So I know there's disputes at a kind of micro level there. But at the macro level, the bigger picture is that the debates uh, revolving around Quebec separatism are, are reigniting themselves in Canada. In 1995, as I'm sure you know, there was a, a referendum in Quebec on the question of uh, Quebec separatism. And it, it was very narrow. It really indicated how polarized uh, that policy is. It was 49.5% who said yes, and 50.5% said no. And so if Pauline Mawa's agenda is going to come into fruition of having Quebec uh, secede from the greater Canada, she's going to have to strike a balance between pursuing these traditionalist um, kind of ethnic or uh, ethnocentric uh, approaches of, of pursuing a, a, a French, uh, promoting French culture and what seems to be the, the Quebecois uh, national interest, while also not uh, estranging herself and alienating herself from the, uh, the, the, the broader uh, body politic in Quebec, many of whom are English-speaking, many of whom are not ethnically Quebecois. And so it's uh, a tricky balance to strike. And so obviously with this policy, she, she will be alienating uh, uh, certain elements in Quebec society. All right, Joshua, thanks a lot for that. That was Joshua Blakeney, Press TV's correspondent, speaking to us live from Calgary. Well, now moving on now, we are going into a very short break, but after that break, we will tell you more about the following stories. A new wheelchair that will make life easier for the disabled. And we'll also tell you about an indigenous and ingenious, that is rather, idea to save the Maldives. I'm George Galloway, and I've 